the entitlement the audacity like this bride is so crazy that honestly she might benefit from seeing a therapist and i stand therapists on this channel we stand therapy but Oh boy. But I'm being rude. Let me introduce myself. My name is Katie Sauter and I'm a wedding planner. And if you are planning your wedding, then I have a free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below. Check it out. Otherwise, if you're just here for the ride, <laughs> welcome. Welcome to my dojo. Don't forget to give a flower to that like button in its favorite color, of course. And give a cat-like head bump to that subscribe button, but keep it PG for me, okay? Let's dive into the story. So this is from r slash wedding shaming, which is one of my favorites on Reddit. And it's from AnonShell24. My aunt's family friend was Bridezilla nightmare wedding. My aunt just came back from a wedding which sounded like a total nightmare. The bride is the daughter of my aunt and uncle-in-law's friend, so basically a family friend. Friend. It's her third wedding already. She's only 29. Whoa. All right. She has two different kids with two ex-husbands. This woman seemed obsessed with weddings from the moment I met her and was only interested in talking to me about engagements, weddings, rings, etc. Five minutes after I met her for the first time, she proceeded to chastise me for not being married or planning my wedding yet, saying I'm running out of time, even though we are close in age. Yeah, I'm like, 29's not that bad. I'm 29. Okay. We are all on our own timelines. A few months before the wedding, my uncle-in-law took her for a dress fitting. And since she couldn't afford the dress, which was $1,000, he generously offered to pay for it and she accepted. Fast forward to a few weeks before the wedding, she informed my aunt and uncle that she's canceling the catering service to cut down on the budget and instead asked him to help her mom cook for everyone. He agreed and was told that the meal would include pre-cooked pasta that was reheated by putting it in plastic bags and dipped in boiling water. Barf. Yeah, that's like the store, store bags? I mean, I guess it's one thing if it's a sous vide bag, but like, are they store-bought plastic bags? I need to know more. And they also had jello and pudding for dessert. The wedding was supposedly at a castle, but it ended up being some sort of tacky looking house where Dungeon and Dragon fans go to cosplay. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. hold on. There's nothing wrong with Dungeons and Dragons. I have played Dungeons and Dragons, it is fun. As long as you have the right group, but only then. On the wedding invitation, it said formal, but with no specification. Black tie, white tie, semi-formal, etc. I mean, that usually Usually implies some sort of black tie. So my aunt and uncle picked out nice formal outfits, which the bride's mom okayed beforehand. After they took a plane to fly to the wedding venue in another state, the bride immediately put my aunt and uncle to work, shopping at Costco, etc., which they did. Then the bride threw a fit that my uncle-in-law didn't have a white shirt and black tie, which she did not say anything about in her invitation. Yeah, she did need to be a little more clear than that. And demanded that he go buy one before the wedding the next day, which he begrudgingly agreed to. That's nuts. That's not much time. The worst part is her fiance, now husband, told my uncle that there's something she didn't tell him. She wouldn't be wearing the wedding dress, which he spent $1,000 on. Apparently a family member didn't know that he'd already bought her a wedding dress and offered to pay for a dress and a dress fitting. So she did that instead without even having the consideration to tell him before or apologize for wasting his money. She just took $1,000 for a dress that she didn't even even use and not only was she too inconsiderate to acknowledge that or apologize but she demanded that he purchase an entire new outfit the day beforehand it sounded like a nightmare and i feel sorry for her husband that is pretty crazy i mean it's also like a lot to be like you need to buy a new outfit for my wedding day really like the day before it's like why i don't understand caring that much to be honest like, I just don't, I don't understand caring that much. And like, they made them cook too? That's a lot. Like, that is a lot of food. And in plastic bags? I mean, yeah, I guess it is one thing if it's sous vide bags, but it's like, are they like, it sounds like it's a store-bought bag, but we'll see if it's any more information in the comments, I guess. So, Willing Grapefruit 9 wrote, there's absolutely no way I wouldn't demand my $1,000 back since it wasn't used for its intended purposes. <laughs> OP writes, I agree. I was so mad about that. She wasn't even grateful. Yeah, that's nuts. That 
that is nuts to not be grateful for a $1,000 purchase. And then she's so cheap that she's got to have the, I mean, this is like her third wedding, but still she's probably going to have more. I think she's just obsessed, obsessed with getting married, but man, to be so ungrateful, I would not be happy. Like I myself am not like much of a drama queen, but like, I think if this happened to me, like if I ever had a niece and she was like, do this for me, I would be like, oh honey, honey, not if you're going to be that ungrateful and I want my money back. Normal regret one to eight wrote sounds like she can use her uncle's dress for her fourth wedding which won't be too long anyway <laughs> uh, that's great <laughs> that's true soup science kilts wrote why did your aunt and uncle say yes to her every demand she is not their daughter she sounds entitled and bossy i'm a bit confused op writes because they're just way too nice and generous agreed she sucks dis the beat wrote Honestly, I'm sorry to say it, but you get whatever you put up with. I would have straight up laughed in her face and gave her the middle finger as I walked away. <laughs> and OP writes, I would have too. That's what they will do in her future, most likely. Yeah, I hope so. That's because that's just... Oh, geez, not this guy wrote. Honestly, the Dungeons and Dragons cosplaying sounds way more fun. OP writes, more fun than the wedding. Spacey Squid wrote, to be honest, a root canal sounds more fun than that wedding. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably. I mean, the the food would just be like, oh God. It's like the food alone would already be really bad. And then, yeah, it's just, it sounds really cheap. It sounds really cheap. Like she's been scamming people out of thousand dollar dresses. Ayunda Rag wrote, I probably mispronounced that, I'm sorry. Well, everyone else is caught up on the pasta bag scenario, which I'm trying to understand whether it was a scenario where it was an intended heating method or some trash way to true. <laughs> I'm stuck on the fact that she scammed two people into $1,000 plus wedding dresses. What is in her backstory where she can manipulate old men like this? That is, I mean, I guess that sounds like a superpower if you think of it in a different way. Traditional underscore air underscore 9483 wrote, he should have told her to reuse one of her other bridal gowns. She would probably say it's unlucky, but I don't think the dresses were the biggest problem in her marriages. <laughs> I'm canceling the catering and having you cook. No, ma'am, I contributed the dress. Food's on you. So further reading, a lot of people wrote, oh, but it's normal to cook pasta in bags. We do that all the time in cooking. But I think they mean sous vide bags, not like the, you know, not a Walmart plastic bag. <laughs> which it sounds like based on what the OP is writing, it was definitely plastic bags in boiling water. I'm just like, what chemicals are unlocked from the plastic by doing that? I don't know why I use the word unlock, but oh boy. Yep. So this is very entitled. Uh, I just, the audacity is just nuts. If you liked my content, don't forget to check out the free wedding planning timeline linked in the description below and check out some of my other videos.